Okay, we're back. Uh, working on the tobacco barn uh, jug. So I'm going to get it back down here so you can see what I'm doing. And I think I'm going to zoom in a little bit this time. So you can see there. There we go. And I have uh, etched the top here so our top will stick to it. A little water there and <coughs> excuse me um, press that in and then do the other side down the middle here this is where the vent will go and I was talking about in the previous video not to mention it leaves an opening in the barn here so it don't explode when we fire it Okay, there we go. Now let's uh, okay. Now, got a piece there. We go. Just a little scrap piece doesn't take much. Let me give it the look of a vent. <coughs> a little shelter too on the side here I believe so um, um, dun, dun, dun. I'm going to make some more thin Not gonna be a real big one, but traditionally a lot of barns would have shelters. <coughs> Some would have two barns built across from each other, and they'd have a shelter that went from one to the other. And the uh, shelter would be there to um, so you could work up under if it was raining, or because even just because it was raining. You didn't start working on the farm. Uh, long time I, I, I don't even really remember doing it, but probably about the only time I ever remember stopping working was if we had a uh, lightning, and then we just stopped long enough for the lightning to stop, and then we'd go right back at it unless it was a bad storm that kept going all day. Okay. Here's probably the most fragile part about building these in the houses Just putting these posts there we go all right now we'll do a 
tree. <clears throat> and we'll do like an oak tree. So we're going to on the last one. And what I do is I just cut a piece of slab with some pieces. Coming out from it. And the back form I mean, was done, uh, started in the summer. And when I was growing up, most of the time you would be finished by about Labor Day. I was talking to my sons. Uh, it's um, end of October, almost November. And uh, we had some local farmers that just finished getting in tobacco not too long ago. Oh, well, about a week ago, actually, which is very late for tobacco. But got a lot big farmers, bigger farms now. They grow for the um, tobacco companies now they don't grow just for themselves uh, well they sell it at the market they contract with the big tobacco companies to companies and it's a lot different than it used to be when it comes to that It's probably a little bit big. So let's make it a little bit small. Okay. Of course, I don't know. I've seen some trees that were big enough to go that high. Come to the back of round. My grandfather, he uh, on his farm, <coughs> he had some big old oak trees that were real tall, way taller than the uh, barns around. You don't see a whole lot of trees like that anymore. And his place is since gone. Yeah. Old pack house and barns. So it's been torn down and just ain't what it used to be. Alright. Okay, now. Um, there we go. So we got to put a handle on it. And I'm going to make a little tractor, and then that'll be finished. So I'm going to pause it for just a second and come back, and uh, i got to pull the handle and uh, make the little tractor. So I'll be right back. Okay. I'm back. Um, i got my little tractor here I made. I'm going to sit him out here, but I'm going to wait, actually I think, put the handle on first, and go ahead and sign the bottom, because I don't want the little tractor to fall off. So, get, excuse me, get my pencil. Sorry, Simon. I don't have a stamp. I tried making some. I just didn't like the way they turned out. I sort of like to sign them. To me, it gives the old rustic look. 
Okay, I got my piece here for my handle. And etch this here. And it's down here. It'll be a very big handle. More of a Traditional handle. It's a little bit soft. Let me let it be a little stiffer before I mess with it. But it's getting late, and I wanted to finish this. There we go. So, to remedy that, I'll put it on there, brush it a little bit, I won't brush the bottom though, like that look there, and there we go, I'm going to lost my Piece. So here we go. I'm going to scratch the here, give it a little bit of texture on the ground, and take my tractor. And I don't know where it is. I think I lost him. And scratch the bottom of the wheels a tad. I think I'm going to put him right there. Next to the barn. There we go. And I got to do one thing. I got to get a little in there. I don't have a muffler on it because I'm just scared it'll fall off. Be too tender. So, hope you enjoy that. And let me uh, get a little close up of it. Bear with me with the camera here. And there we go. So there's our new tobacco barn jug, and I hope you enjoyed it. So until next time, keep playing in clay, and we'll bring in some more videos as we get them done. And don't forget, if you've not subscribed, please subscribe. Um, I did a face jug giveaway uh, not too long ago, and I'm probably going to do another one in the next little while, uh, before too long. So keep watching, look out for that, and we'll see you next time. Bye.